Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. In this video I will be doing a rect ring pour on this 11 by 14 gallery wrapped canvas. Of course taped in the back, my fish pans. And, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, I will be using for my colors a Payne's Gray by Windsor Newton. My paints are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium. Um, this is a leftover from another pour that I did, so there's not, there's not much left. Um, but uh, Liquitex Gloss Medium, the paint, and Floetrol. Um, my next color. So that one was there was the Payne's Gray, which I really like. I like that color a lot. Um, my next color is going to be, excuse me for my, st <laughs> my stumbling, um, is going to be Purple Pearl. And that is by Deco Art. But I put in a, so the Deco Art Pearl, and I also put in a dab of Liquitex Base 6 Taxazine Purple because the Deco Art paint is a little bit thinner and so I needed to thicken it up a bit. And then my next color is the famous 24 karat Deco Art Metallics. This is a favorite among a lot of the artists, pouring artists. As we all know, even the viewers, I mean the subscribers, because a lot of our subscribers are subscribed to a lot of the same artists. Does that make sense? I think it did. <laughs> Oops, I can leave that off. Um, alrighty, and then my next paint is going to be, color is going to be a Royal Navy by Deco Art Americana. And then... Because this is also a thin paint, I put a dab of Parisian Blue Hue from Golden Gibson. Stop, buddy. This cat is just laying on my bed, sitting there whining because he wants me to come and pet him. He needs to learn that it's I pet him when I'm ready, not when I'm painting. <laughs> um, this is how that color turned out. Nice blue i love the blue the color the, the, the way that this came out with the persian blue hue in it and then last but not least will be pearl olive green one of the tubes that i got in the bundle got two eight packs so 16 pearl arteza paints <laughs> but they are beautiful i love the pearls i've used some of them in my blooms I haven't done any uh, Dutch pour yet, um, but this will be my first time using them in one of the ring pours, I do believe. This is a beautiful color. I also have the pearl pistachio, but I'm gonna wait and use that in a different painting. All right, and so I am going to layer them in this cup, <clears throat> pardon me. And then I will put a puddle of my 24 karat gold down here. And then I will put it in the ring. <laughs> I will pour it out in the ring fashion. And I will, let's see here, at which point. I'm not sure if I will wreck it first or if I will put my titanium white by Liquitex Basics as my flow extender so i will probably wreck it and then do the flow extender and then tilt it out and i will see you guys in the end because i will speed you through this play some music and hope you enjoy so i will see you on the flip side you got that something baby that i can go poison in me you're all that i'm about loving the highs on my the lows it's getting out of my control i want that something baby cause i can go without mama used to tell me love it right if it ain't easy but i'm in too deep to walk away from you papa used to tell me love should never drive you crazy but i lose my mind if 
Wow. Can I just say, wow? That is amazing looking. <laughs> that gold is just popping. I had to break that music in for a minute because, wow, holy smokes. All right, so pretty sure I've got plenty of paint here. I'm going to move this. Look at that. Just stunning. It's just so cool. Okay, so I want to move this this way. Okay, make sure you're still in view there. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is kind of how do I want to do it? Let's see here. Ah! <laughs> like that. <clears throat> and wow, that is so pretty. <laughs> I'm going to do kind of maybe like a heart shape. Oh, it's so pretty. Hey, I don't get what this is about. You got my head spinning on my shoulders. Okay, I'm going to call that good. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Oops. Just busted my uh, glove. Ah, twice. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I think it's stupendous. And as I was pouring the colors into the cup, I couldn't help but think of Mardi Gras. <laughs> the purple and the gold, and not necessarily the blue, but purple, gold, and green. That just totally remind me of Mardi Gras. Um, and quite honestly, kind of, this, I mean, this looks like feathers. And I absolutely love the way that this layered together. It is it's gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. Got a couple little spots I need to fix. Because I don't want that white showing through. I don't know if you noticed, but I was trying to get that paint down. I mean, I'm sure you noticed, but I don't know if you know why. I had a bare spot here and I the only way to fix it was to do that or stick my finger in it and make it look funny. And I didn't want to do that because it looked funny because <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Let me just check my... Sides here. Sorry. That concentration quietness. Trying to get just the dots. <clears throat> so I did just mix most of this, actually all of it, because I had to mix more gold. But anyway, um, this is gorgeous. I love the way it turned out. Let me get you off that tripod and bring you on down to have a little gander at this. All right, my friend. Here is this beauty. That gold sure does take over. And that is just gorgeous. Sorry, I was looking at my paints, wondering, <laughs> that's the paint's gray. I'm thinking black, but I didn't put any black. Look at all those lines. Look at all that definition, all that detail, all that crispness in those lines. Just gorgeous. Get over here. Gorgeous, 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 just simply gorgeous. All right, let me turn off the lights and turn the flash on. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Holy smokes, you can really see all that gold through there. This is a beautiful piece. I love this. I absolutely love it. Just gorgeous. Some people might think it's too much gold, but you know, I I like it. It's mine. I'm happy with it. <laughs> and <clears throat> I actually have a friend who is from New Orleans, and I may just give this to her. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys on the flip side when this is dry. See you then. All right, I am back with the dried results. And boy, that was a fun pour. I loved doing that one. I, and uh, yeah, I'm super happy with the way that this dried out. And I'd like to give a second to give some credits to Mina, Mina Villegas Art and um, Maze Art Studio, Lee and Jeremy. They um, have been very helpful with me in learning my the process of doing this um, ring pour and the consistency. And so I just want to give a shout out to those two channels, uh, those three people. They're all great artists. So if you don't know them, please go check out their channels. Um, but here we have this. I think it's, I mean, there's a ton of gold and I tried not to layer it. Um, too thick because I know how the gold can take over but geez it still did <laughs> you saw the cup the cup seemed to have thicker <laughs> layers of the gold but oops <laughs> so anyway um, I'm quite happy with it Thank you, Jeremy, for the inspiration of the wrecked ring pour. Um, 
Oh, nice shadow, Angie. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you are all well and have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it may be for you. And I will see you in my next video. Take care.